cold. I don't know, for some reason I thought it was going to be warmer, but it's like 51 degrees. I don't know. It's cold. But I'm outside. I'm going to go do a walk. I am... Um, so, uh, I started this other channel. I haven't done anything on it. But, um... I just wanted to share a dream that I've had a couple times now. And, um... Fix my camera here. There we go. So, in the dream, um, it was about... Spread myself out. And, um, because I've been praying on it, Lord, is that... Am I hearing you right? Um about the two chests separating and in it in the dream it was showing that by doing whatever I was doing in my dream that it was taken away from one and not given enough to the other and so uh, you know I've just kind of sat on that for a while and last night I had a simpler dream to it so got a sore on my lip here so what I'm going to do is not separate. I don't do a lot on van life. Um, I do stuff here and there. Um, my main goal of this channel was to show, you know, God's love. And through my life and through everything, you know, how I live and, you know, who I am and through tough times and good times. And look at the sun shining that's thank you lord and uh so um i took the message as i would dedicate so much time to just a van life channel that it would take away from my whole purpose of doing this and that is to glorify and honor god and so uh gosh that's really nice but I'm gonna turn my camera around a little bit see if that'll help okay so uh, that's what I'm gonna do and I, I've been saying you know if I get a thousand uh, subs you know I could do a live but that's another thing um, in the dream it was it kept, I don't even know who or what kept saying just calm down just calm down Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if, you know, that'll be great if that is to ever happen. The Lord will take care of it for me. I'm going to just uh, post more on this channel. Um, always about the Lord. I'll share my journey, and, you know, and recovering and uh, from, well, chemo now because that's, Gosh, that gets me so sick sometimes. But, uh, you know, that the battle was won by the Lord. You know, I'm so grateful and thankful for that. <laughs> so over the weekend, they had um, a walk for um, Alzheimer's here. It was so cool. And I walked around, and um, there was a lot of people, you know, with tears and all of that. And, I always just go to look to see about, you know, are my odds greater for something like that since I had had cancer or, um, sorry, we're going to have to just work with the Lord's ray on us. But um, anyway, so I went and I just kept researching it and in the 22 studies that I found about Alzheimer's patients, uh, versus cancer patients is cancer and Alzheimer's share what I speak all words so whatever is in the cell so they cannot both coexist doesn't mean it doesn't happen because you know stuff happens but um, but if you have Alzheimer's the likelihood of you getting cancer uh, with having Alzheimer's is a 33% less chance, something like that. And if 
the same is true if you have cancer or have had cancer that um, the likelihood is 33% less and even the percentage is even higher in some studies because it is hard for the two to coexist <laughs> within the same cell. I found that really interesting. Uh, I was talking to a lady about that too and uh, she helps organize the, the event and you know she said she had heard some studies on that and it is interesting to now for me I, I just not that it means that I would get this that or the other but I just found it interesting that those are the two main killers right now is cancer and Alzheimer's I didn't know that either um, to be honest I don't know a lot about Alzheimer's I I know more about dementia um, the gentleman that I called my dad my my stepdad he died of dementia you know complications and stuff he had dementia and you know and of course old age and all that he did get to he was blessed to to live a, a really long life and fairly healthy life but um so i i know more about dementia but i didn't know um all the different stages about alzheimer's and you know and i, I just didn't know so to me it was interesting um, you know, it's kind of like with cancer. I, a year ago, I remember, a year and a half ago, saying the only kind of cancer we've ever had in our family was my sister had skin cancer on her nose. <laughs> and um, I used to say, well, we're just so blessed. And then, boom, you know, my brother, who has now gone on to be with the Lord, and myself, you know, cancer, and different types of cancer. So, uh, she, I won't be saying stuff like that again, but, uh, you know, I'm grateful and thankful to God that he, he's freed me from that, and he, he's going to use me in a way I, I don't even know how, I couldn't even fathom how, and, um, you know, God is good, he is just so good each and every day, and I don't dream a lot, so when I dream, I like to write him down, and I, sorry, this is just kind of bugging me a little bit. It, because I like to pay attention to my dreams, because like I said, I just don't really dream. It's not something I do. But when I was talking about the Alzheimer's thing, at the end of this, I'll put in a few little clips that I took um, of the event. It was just really nice to see. And it was nice that they had like a route for people who could do however long the main was and then they had a short one you know for people that were elderly or you know not feeling well and <laughs> yeah that was pretty cool and then they had you know uh, they provided food which was really cool but <clears throat> excuse me I didn't eat any of the food number one I didn't pay for anything to participate and number two I just don't but <laughs> it was really cool just seeing all the people and they were, you know, a community and it, it was way cool. So I'm going to add some of the clips at the end of this. So I've been find, finding, I've been searching for a tablet because I want to do editing. I do want to get into that. It's hard to do on my phone. Um, fat fingers, small screen, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't work out too well for me. And so I've been looking for a tablet that takes a SIM card because at Cricut, for $15 a month, you get unlimited internet. So I was like, that's cool. Well, I couldn't find one that was unlocked. And then today on Amazon, I found one and it was only half of the amount that I was expecting to spend. Score. Yes. So I'll be here tomorrow which I say day after tomorrow. They're never on time. But anyway, uh, I'm pretty excited for that. Very excited. So then I could try my hand at editing, give you guys something to laugh at. <laughs> uh, 
But yeah, I just wanted, you know, I'm just going to be more diligent about um, posting. I do post like little uh, verses and I need to do a little few more shorts and <laughs> eventually I'd like to do a live. But, you know, I just want to let you know that God loves you right where you're at, exactly right where you are at. He loves us so much that he truly is just waiting for us to come to him. I mean, honestly, look, I was just talking about it. It was cold, and now the sunshine is on my back, and I'm actually getting kind of warm. God's good, right? Even in the smallest things, I just, I give him such praise in honor I just I truly love him and uh and he loves me and he loves you so I pray that no matter what you're going through today it doesn't matter it does not matter what not that it doesn't matter because it does but it doesn't matter to God because he's there for you he will take care of anything and everything in in his perfect will and we don't always get the answer we want um, you know, I prayed and prayed and prayed for my baby brother. But, you know, God's plan was a lot bigger than any plan that we could have for my brother. And uh, for myself, just to accept it, you know, it is God's will. And he's always right. And he knows better than I ever could know. So... <coughs> Excuse me. Should have brought some water. Got a dry throat. But just surrendering everything to the Lord, you know, down to, you know, food to eat. It's, you know, to have anything, gas in my vehicle. Every night I'm always thanking him, and I do throughout the day, but at night I make sure I, I go, I have a checklist you know it's like i thank you for the food that you have given me today and i thank you for the people that you gave me to talk to and i i thank you for my home and i thank you for healing me from head to toe i thank you for my voice that is coming back stronger and stronger every day and i gotta say with my voice i was never super loud but i would sometimes talk louder than others um, I've always had a hearing problem in one ear, which I don't have anymore. And um, I notice with my voice, if I try to speak loud, it gets really rough and cracking. So um, just getting back to using the calmness, you know, centering within myself and having a calm voice and a he helps too but just thanking the Lord that you know I claimed it from the beginning when when my oncologist said you know I don't think your voice will ever come back to the way you want it that it's going to stay the way it was I was like no you know I am going to have complete and total healing and restoration in the name of Jesus and he just looks at me and smiles you know he's a man of faith and I just told her, I just won't accept anything else. Mm -hmm. And I told him, I go, it might not happen today, it might not happen next year, but it will happen. And here it is, as the Lord's just continuously, you know, blessing me. But not because I'm anything special, but I am obedient to him. Um, and believe me, there are times where it's hard. It is very hard to be obedient to the Lord, not because I don't want to. But because, you know, there are times someone will really, you know, burn my bacon and tell you what, you know, for a moment I'll have a fleeing thought and just that alone I have to pray over. But uh, every day I just ask myself, is this pleasing to our Lord? Is this going to cost me my salvation? Sure, we could do things and later on pray, but if we continue to repeat the same thing, that's not pleasing to the Lord, and that means we haven't truly repented, right? So, anyway, that's uh, what I wanted to do, is just kind of chit-chat for a minute and let you know what my dream was, and I'm going to just 
go ahead and remove that other channel. I haven't done a thing on it. I, I started it, you know, did everything to get the channel there, but um, it's not in my heart, and this one is, and that's because it's all for the Lord. So I pray you have a wonderful day. It's Tuesday. Uh, a week from tomorrow is chemo, which is okay. It's all good. That just means I'm one treatment closer to being done, and God is so good. So I pray that you guys just have an amazing day. Do something fabulous for yourself. Always honor God. I pray for you, and I thank you for praying for me. And remember, the Lord loves you right where you're at. Have a very blessed day. Talk to you all soon. This is Gracie. I'm out. Bye.